Okay, now that I've got my mascara on, the last thing that we're gonna do for the eyes is the lashes. Um, you can just pick this up at Walmart or Walgreens. I love using the Kiss line of lashes. They've got some great ones. Uh, these ones are called Ritzy. Also, grab this glue while you're there. It's the Kiss with Aloe, and it's a black glue. So when you put the lashes on with a black glue, it's gonna blend better into your eyeliner uh, instead of using one of the thicker ones or the white ones, which don't make any sense to do that. So what I like to do when applying false lashes is after you've taken them out of the packaging, you're gonna hold them up by the little lash part and you're gonna take any of this um, packaging glue off. So you'll see like sometimes it's just this little bit of white adhesive that's stuck on the strip. But you wanna be careful that you don't mess up the little individual hairs on here. So we're just going to pull that off and there you go. And then you've got a nice clean lash strip that you can work with. And then we're going to put on our glue. And this is another question people ask me is how do you put the glue on? So what I what I like to do is I'll squeeze this little tube until it starts coming up. You see that just barely popped up a little bit. Um, so now you have some that's out. And again, I stabilize my elbows. Um, as you can see, I'm stabilizing on my hand here. And I start with the middle of the lash. And I'm just, just kind of making sure that there's glue on the entire strip, but not too much. So I'm just making sure that I'm not getting the glue on the actual lashes. It's just going to be on that adhesive strip that they have there. And then, of course, you have to wait. <laughs> so this is another thing that people are impatient and just want to go and slide it on. And when it's wet like that, it tends to move and, and you can kind of mess up your makeup that way. And if you do it that way, it's okay, just let it dry and then take a dry Q-tip and run over wherever the glue is and it'll just pull it right off without messing up your makeup. So I just let this dry for about 20 to 30 seconds. The other thing I like to use when I'm applying false lashes is I like to use uh, tweezers. So grab some, some tweezers when you're doing this. Hold your lashes by the middle, line them up again with the middle of your lash, your natural lash line. And we're just coming in over the top and setting them down as close to the root of my natural lashes as possible. And then you just come and take the inner corner and we're going to make sure that we've got that pushed in where we want it. And then and come take the outer corner and push that where we want it. Now to seal these off, I use the back side of my tweezers and I come in over the top and press the lashes so that they're getting good contact. Another thing that I'll do sometimes is um, on my clients, I'll pull just to make sure that this inner corner is not popping off because that can happen a lot. Um, so you just pull on it and make sure it's staying on the entire lash line while you secure it into place. And voila, there we go, we have lashes. So after I let my lashes set for a little bit, then I go ahead and go over the top again with some mascara and I'm only putting this on to really connect my natural lashes to the false lashes so that we don't have like this double layer in there. So we're just going to blink a couple of times and make sure I've got my lashes pushed up into the falsies. So lashes make a huge difference. They open up the eye, especially for my hooded, lidded sisters out there. Throw on a pair of lashes and it just makes your eye feel like it's so much larger. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.